Hey guys, so I um, didn't see many full reviews of this guitar um, on YouTube, so I figured I'd go ahead and make one for everybody that's interested in it. Um, I know it's not the signature Schecter that everybody's after, but it's um, my personal favorite and it's been just amazing having this guitar. So this is a, um, essentially it's a prototype Sean Morgan, uh, hence the black pick guard. Only a few of them were made with that black pick guard. Um, Sean didn't like that because they wanted to go a different direction, so there you are. Um, serial number says this is made in 2011, so this is right when they first came out. Um, and I got it from the guys over at uh, Drum City Guitar Land. They were awesome. Set it up with my gauge strings and everything, threw in a t-shirt, picks, you name it, they sent it over. Um, so they were awesome about it. So, the, um, the guitar is... For those of you who don't know, um, it's uh, the signature John Morgan. So um, the front man of Seether was playing, has been playing Schachter most of the career um, he's had over here in the U.S. And uh, he was playing 006s and C1s way back when, a few Ultras. Um, around the time Finding Beauty in Negative Spaces came out, he switched over to their PT Fastbacks and played a customized version of that. Um, you'll see a lot of those old videos you see of them live. He'll have just racks of those things. Um, but right about the time uh, Holding On to Strings by Left to Fray came out, uh, he came out with this. Um, the body's based on what's called a Morsite guitar out of the 60s and 70s. Uh, very old style looking body, very unique. Uh, don't see many guitars with that style. Um, it's a three piece mahogany body. Uh, with a carved top. You can see that it's a flat top guitar, but it has this nice ridge all the way around. Just something unique that they decided to do. I like it. Um, maple neck, it's bolt on, um, which I know Schechter has the uh, the amazing all access um, neck joints on their set ends, but I mean, I'm not playing a lot of leads with this guitar, let's be honest. Um, so starting from here, working our way down, we've got. Uh, Grover machine heads, top of the line. Um, really, there's no other reason to have any other machine heads on your guitar. Graph Tech nut. Um, it does have cream binding across the top and the bottom, all around the headstock, which is nice. Um, extra jumbo frets, so they they feel good. They feel um, the neck itself is pretty thin. Think uh, Stratocaster. Um, definitely not like an old 50s Tele or not a Les Paul neck at all. It's it's thin. It's a thin C shape. Um, Cog inlays, they're actually gears, I don't know if you can see that, um, which is pretty cool. So, and they did a really good job, they look really good. Um, so we're playing it this way, the hardware on the guitar isn't really plentiful, there isn't a lot going on here. Um, this is a Duncan Design HB102B, uh, essentially what that is, it's the Seymour Duncan JB. Um, just a cheaper version of it, and it's got clear bobbins so you can see the wiring on the inside of the pickup Which is cool um, Pretty hot pickup does a lot as far as uh, Aggression, which is nice. I had to re EQ my amplifier and stuff because it was just so much more hot than the um, Les Paul that I had uh, Single volume knob and it's a speed knob. So it's got the rubber on it uh, and just a kill switch um, Which is nice essentially <laughs> off button um, Standard stop tail bridge. It's not a string through, which bums me out a little bit, but it doesn't change the sound all that much to me. Um, does have a cutaway on the back, and you see the control cavity for the electronics. Um, so clean sound. I'm tuned to drop C sharp right now. Um, obviously, if I'm going to play C other stuff, you got to play in C sharp. Um, Cleans great. I love the clean on this thing. It, it just works. Um, you know, where I'm doing a lot of the uh, that genre of music, it doesn't need to be. You know, I don't need it. I don't miss a neck pickup. 
at all for the stuff that I do. Um, so, distortion. Um, Um, absolutely amazing guitar. Um, everything feels really solid on it. Everything is the frets are clean. Everything feels very professional, very expensive. Um, and I bought this for a pretty good price. Um, so if you're interested in one, go check them out. Go buy one. <laughs>